Mezna is the topic, and Mezna's full name is Mercaptoethane sulfonate. So I'm assuming the Mezna comes from the M here, the E there, the S here, and the NA over there. So what is Mezna? It is a drug that is used to decrease the side effects. So for example, you have a patient with some cancer, for example lymphoma. The patient is given a cancer drug to treat the condition and that leads to certain side effects because chemotherapeutic drugs do indeed have a lot of side effects. What you can do is give Mesna along with the cancer drug and that will help decrease these side effects. Therefore Mesna is known as a chemoprotectant. Now there's two cancer drugs in particular that Mesna is used with and they are cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide and these two cancer drugs are officially known as nitrogen mustards this is the class they belong to why do certain side effects occur so I'll take you through this starting with the drug cyclophosphamide Let's say you have a cancer patient and he or she is given cyclophosphamide to help treat the cancer. When this drug breaks down, it produces a metabolite called acrolein. And this metabolite is toxic to the bladder. This metabolite can also arise from using the other nitrogen mustard, which is iphosphamide. What Mesna does is if you administer Mesna along with the cancer drug, it can go and bind to acrolein and inactivate it. So let's say the person was given the cancer drug without Mesna this acrolein would cause toxicity to the bladder in particular to the bladder epithelium and this causes a condition known as hemorrhagic cystitis and hemorrhagic cystitis can present in a patient as dysuria which is pain during urination and of course hematuria blood in the urine and it can also progress to bladder cancer. So obviously hemorrhagic cystitis is a very serious side effect of using certain cancer drugs like cyclophosphamide. So we don't want this to occur. So that's why we use Mesna. It will bind the acrolein. and inactivate it and this reduces or prevents the damage to the bladder. When Mesna binds with acrolein it forms a inactive thioether and this inactive thioether can safely be passed in the urine. So here is Mesna and it is given IV. It can sometimes be given PO. It's given along with the cyclophosphamide cancer drug and it's given in a one-to-one -one ratio. So for example if you give one milligram of cyclophosphamide you would give one milligram of Mesna. A couple clinical vignettes a 56-year-old man was recently diagnosed with lymphoma. He is being treated with chemotherapy using cyclophosphamide, doxorubicin, prednisone, and vincristin. He is currently on his second 
of four cycles of chemotherapy. He noticed last week that he had some burning during micturition and dark colored urine. He is now unable to empty his bladder. He is referred to the emergency department. On exam in the ED, he is in moderate distress. His temperature is 37, blood pressure is 175, pulse is 115. There is palpable cervical adenopathy. Lungs are clear, heart has no murmurs. Abdomen is soft, but there is a 8 by 8 centimeter mass in the suprapubic region that is slightly tender to palpation. Genital exam shows blood clots at the urethral meatus and the testicles are descended bilaterally. Rectal exam shows good anal tone with a mildly enlarged smooth prostate. Hematocrit 31, creatinine is 0.8. UA shows 3 to 4 WBCs per high power field. Full field RBC and leukocyte esterase negative. Which of the following is the most likely explanation for the patient's hematuria? This patient has lymphoma and is on cyclophosphamide. And he's got hematuria. He also has a distended bladder. And this is strong evidence of cyclophosphamide-induced hemorrhagic cystitis. So the answer is choice B. A 42-year-old male suddenly develops dysuria and frequency despite the absence of bacteria in the urine. Microscopic hematuria is noted. Over the course of the next few days, gross hematuria is seen. The patient is being treated for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma with a nitrogen mustard type anti-neoplastic agent. Which of the following agents could have been administered to prevent the onset of the patient's symptoms. So nitrogen mustards include cyclophosphamide and iphosphamide, hemorrhagic cystitis as a side effect. And that side effect can be prevented by administering mesna, which is choice C.